Hello there everyone and welcome back to a brand new video which is particularly exciting as today is my 22nd birthday and oh my gosh I feel like this is a little bit of a momentous occasion because the very first video I uploaded to this YouTube channel was a vlog from my 21st birthday. I did upload in August as it took me a while to figure out how to edit it and actually want to edit it and things and I have like the bravery to put it out there but I am just so confused and like amazed at how quickly the time has gone in between that video and this video. It's Friday the 25th of June. I am absolutely sweating. <laughs> I've just had to turn off the fan to film this otherwise it would have made too much noise but oh my gosh even though it's quite grey outside I'm so warm. I've just dried this hair and look at me already flicking it up off my neck. Um, yeah, not a vibe at all. But yeah, how exciting that it's my birthday. Yesterday, myself and Charlie were talking about all the things that I've done in my year of being 21 because I was a bit upset. I was like, oh my God, the whole time that I was 21, COVID was here. Like half of my 21st year was just in pretty much a lockdown, if not more than half. And it's just a bit sad really, isn't it? Because I feel like that's kind of one of the best years of your life, as people say. And it's kind of when I'm still considered a young person person and things like that like it's going to be my last year being like a proper student yeah like it's just a bit sad but we went through all of the things that like I've achieved and things that we've done and so much has happened even though Covid has been here like I finished my undergraduate degree, I started my masters, myself and Charlie went to Switzerland, we've been to Cornwall, done a few UK staycations but I've got a car now and I've re-taught myself how to drive and now I feel like a really confident driver, I can officially say that guys. <laughs> Yeah, like so much stuff has happened. I've even got my job at the hospital, which is something that I'll be doing full time once I finished uni. So, so much stuff has happened, which is like so big. It's it's just crazy really how much happens in a year, even though COVID was here and like I've been stopped from doing a lot of stuff. So I'm excited to see what 22 brings because if I achieved all of that during my 21st year whilst we were in a lockdown, what am I going to be able to achieve during my 22nd year? Like, it's very exciting. I'll be entering the world of work, hopefully doing a few more travelling trips and things like that. Like, it's exciting. Who knows what this next year of my life is going to bring. But anyway, I've spent the morning getting myself ready. So it's just gone 10. I've got myself up, showered, ready, had a really nice shave. I'm one of those people that likes to be fully ready before they go down and like open anything or see anything. Today's birthday fit, if you're wondering, is this really nice, like, I think it's called like a jumpsuit or a romper. It's got shorts, it's nice pattern. I like um, this chest area, like, I think it makes my boobs look so good. Um, haven't actually got anything that reveals this much chest. So going a bit out there right now and I really really like the arms as well. Square necks don't always work for me but you know what I'm feeling myself today so I'm really really happy with that. This was from Asta so <laughs> I don't know how many people rock Asta George on their birthday but I'm going to give it a go and see how it works out. And the plan for today, there isn't really much of a plan to be honest. I'm going to go downstairs in a second. Charlie and my brother actually decorated all of the living room and things last night. So I'm going to go and see if their hard work has paid off. I'm going to open up some cards that I've received, some presents. Um, I've spent a lot of the morning replying to messages. You know how it be on your birthday, you get so many. So I'm very, very grateful for those. So thank you to anybody who has sent me a little birthday message and wished me wow. It's really appreciated and doesn't go unnoticed. And after I've done like opening and things like that, um, we've got a little afternoon tea for lunch, which is nice. Nothing too extreme because there's only two of us and I said I didn't want to go overboard. So hopefully, you know, we've kept it that way. And then in the afternoon, I don't really know what we'll be doing. Maybe I'll be playing with my presents, having a little look around, just chilling out. And then the plan was to go to Bella Italia this evening for dinner because I've never ever been there before and thought it would be nice to try out. There's actually one here in Coventry, which I kind of forget about to be honest. I thought we would try that out. But I don't really know if I can be 
bothered and that sounds so bad but we'll see because if I can't be bothered later on we'll just end up with a takeaway at home because that was the plan so maybe we could order Bella Italia to the house but I think I'd rather try it there in the restaurant nice and fresh so I will end up with something else I assume but yeah that's the rough plan I've been waffling for five minutes I can't believe it's my birthday it feels so so weird it doesn't seem that long ago since it was my 21st it's also six months till Christmas today so get your presents ready start preparing start thinking about it can't wait for the cozy content but before all of that happens let's head downstairs and have a look at my birthday decorations Oh my god! <laughs> oh. oh my god! You like it? <laughs> I love it! Oh my god guys, I can't believe this. I'm just gonna do a quick pan of the room. Look at the ceiling. Oh god, there's bunting going from corner to corner. We love to see it. Got a few cheeky snacks because we've not eaten breakfast and it's kind of coming up towards lunchtime. We've got a cake. Oh, is that to decorate the cake with? Potentially, we could write on the cake. We're gonna have a little afternoon tea, I think I mentioned that. And then we've got big 22 balloons, which I've never had those balloons before. So call me typical, but I really, really wanted them. All these little, whatever these are called down here. Very cute. Very cute. Ah! Oh my God. I just love it so, so much. Very, very thankful to Charlie because it's obviously all of her ideas and also to my brother for lending us his lungs because he was round here last night with Charlie helping to blow up all of these balloons. I was saying there's a lot of breath in this room right now. If these all popped, it would feel quite dirty. Um, but oh my God, it is just stunning. We really do try and outdo ourselves every year when decorating for each other's birthdays and Charlie's definitely topped herself this year. I just... Wow, I just can't believe it. I am absolutely in so much shock. Like, I just didn't expect this at all. I expected it to be a bit extra, but I did not expect this <laughs> at all. I am amazed, absolutely amazed. But I'm now going to sit down and open up my cards, open up my presents, start making my way through the pile. And yeah, that will be in a separate video. So I'm just going to time lapse it a little bit for now. Um, and I'll obviously bring you guys along with me and oh my god I'm just in shock right now so I can't really speak but yeah I thought I'd give you a little quick pan of the room downstairs and had Leon came and helped Charlie decorate last night and I thought <laughs> Oh, why does she need help? You know, it can't be that difficult. Let me show you. Um, let me go to the front of the room. A big, a big 22. It's kind of a bit twisted there. All this. We've got, we've got bunting. And look at the ceiling. <laughs> oh, that sounds good for me. Wow! <gasps> wow! I can't open nannies, that's a thing. I don't think your granny has done it. Nanny and granny have wrapped. You just can't get into it, can you? Oh, that's a granddad box. That is a granddad box. So a random, random box. Oh, 
alright then. It's heavy. <laughs> what could it be? Thank you, Maynard. Oh, that's so naughty. <laughs> I'm just sitting at the table and Charlie has gone to prepare my cake. She's just wrote happy birthday on the cake. I'll insert a picture here. It's actually really good, not gonna lie. Quite impressed with that talent. Maybe she's found a new skill there. If anybody needs their birthday cakes written on, hit her up. And oh, she's good. I don't want it, it's too pretty. Oh. Is that the middle? Yeah. Nice and soft. Ooh. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, mm. that is delicious. <gasps> that is so nice. A little bit dry, but mine's not it's dry not... at all. If you if you eat it with, with the the, the bit of buttercream on the bit of jam, it's not dry at all. Mm. Oh, Mary Berry, thank you. That is delicious. That's really good. Okay, long time no speak. It's now just gone five o'clock and since we've had lunch, we've just sort of been sitting there and chilling. There's really been nothing for me to pick the camera up for. But I also feel like it's so much harder vlogging your own birthday in comparison to somebody else's because you're actually the one that's busy doing other stuff and you don't have time to pick up the camera. But not much exciting has gone on, to be honest. I've had a nap. I've been scrolling on my phone and ringing a few more people. But as I said, it's now just gone five o'clock and I've rang Bella Italia and we've decided to go there for dinner. They're free for walking, so that's great. I'm going to get changed. It's still very hot outside. It's 18 degrees, but I don't really want to wear this out. So I'm going to get changed into a slightly longer dress because it is still a bit chilly out there, even though it is warm. Um, and yeah, we're going to head out to Bella Italia, go out for dinner. I don't really know what else we'd do otherwise, other than like get a takeaway and sit at home, which is very, very tempting. But like we can do that whenever and it's kind of nice to go out to a restaurant and it'd be a little bit more special, especially for like someone's birthday. So I'm quite excited. Also uploaded a photo to Instagram and it literally looked like I had a bob because my hair was behind me. And just the way it was, I can't even replicate it now, but it literally looked like my hair was cut off to about here. Um, quite conscious of it, not loving it now that like, I've noticed that, but oh wow, my hair is still here by the way, my long locks have remained. But yeah, let's get changed, drive into town, find somewhere to park because there aren't really many car parks in Coventry that are 24 hours and reasonably priced. And then head off to Bella Italia and get some yummy, yummy dinner. I've never been there before, so I'm quite excited. I'll obviously bring you along with me and yeah, let's go. Here, but... Oh, the wipers 
again everyone i'm just sitting here editing this video it's two days now later than my birthday and i just want to say thank you so much to every person who made me feel special and just sent me birthday wishes on that day it was really really amazing i had such a lovely day i know i didn't seem to film too much but as i said it's really hard when you're the birthday girl because you're actually the one that's busy and you don't actually have time to like sit down and film little snippets as you would if it was somebody else's but i'm really happy with what i filmed it's captured a really really special day and i want to give a really little special shout out to charlie and also to my brother for the decorations because they were honestly insane and i've never ever had anything decorated like that before i really can't believe it i'm still in shock and i've also refused to take them down yet because they're just so nice so much effort has gone into them that you can't take them down that quickly you know but as I said, it's two days later. Yesterday was my first full day being at 22, which felt very, very weird. I had a nice little relaxing day, went on a really long walk, and I also hit 200 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So we already have an achievement during this chapter of my life. So thank you very much for that. If you're watching this and you're subscribed, thank you for being here. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, hit that button down below and come and join us on this little journey or join me on this little journey, should I say. And yeah, other than that, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. My what I got for my birthday should already be up on my channel. If it is, I'll try and link it back down below. If I forget, please don't come for me. But yeah, other than that, I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next video and roll on chapter 22.